Are you a creative kind of person, but you're feeling really uninspired at the moment? Do you feel you've lost your artistic voice? Do you feel like a tiny little speck in a vast ocean of talent and wonder what's the point of carrying on? Have you just lost your mojo? Well, if you're answering yes to any of these questions, then keep watching. Now, I had a message on one of my videos this week from Black Oreo Cookie and they say they've lost their artistic voice. They say, I feel like I lost the passion and the voice I had when I was younger. I don't feel like I have a message anymore that could function as a foundation for the meaning behind and the style of my art. How do I get it back? Do I need a new one? This is quite frustrating to me. I think there are a few kind of answers to this. Um, one is that art doesn't have to have a message, okay? Art, um, can be many, many things. Uh, it can be deeply political, it can be deeply emotional, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, art can be all about decorative surfaces and pattern and, um, you know, just making things pretty and beautiful to, to make our lives sort of prettier and more beautiful every day. And that is a perfectly legitimate use of art. And, and if you're happy just doing patterns and decoration, that's your thing. Now art can also be used uh, to kind of journal and uh, describe the world, um, to, 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 to explain things to people. And, and it still doesn't have to have a message. Uh, it can just be kind of there. <laughs> art can be just used for design, just to kind of make things more useful and more pleasurable and, and, and easier to sell. And art can just be a nice thing you do on your own, quiet time, me time, meditation. Um, just drawing, looking, observing, drawing patterns, doodling. It's art, but it doesn't necessarily need a message. Now, if you feel you haven't got a voice, it might just mean that you haven't actually got anything to say at the moment. You might in the future but maybe you've just kind of explored everything at the moment and you've kind of said it all for the moment. Um, so you need to go out and explore the rest of the world and create a new kind of understanding of the world to give you a meaning to life, to want to go out and tell people something in your voice. You could maybe just be trying a little too hard and you just need to get a bit of distance from the whole thing. <laughs> Now there's so much out there and there's so much brilliant talent, talent, it really can make you feel quite small and insignificant. But of course, all that amazing talent out there, they've all been through this process themselves. It's, it's part of sort of getting yourself up the level and learning um, to start off as this tiny little speck <laughs> where you have very little, you might have talent, but you've got very little sort of understanding of the world and, and technical knowledge of how to express yourself. And, and as you go on, you learn techniques, you learn new things, you read books, you watch TV, you meet people and you grow and you grow and you grow. And everybody copies, everybody copies. Um, so when you start out, um, you, you might sort of think, oh, I'm not original, I'm copying this person, I'm copying that person. But you take little bits from everybody. That inspires me. I like that. I like that. I like that. And eventually it all comes together. And suddenly, one day, you go, ah, oh, now I have an understanding of what's going on. I want to tell people about this. And you will have built up all the techniques and everything that you need where suddenly you do have a voice and you can just start explaining stuff, drawing, painting, whatever it is, explaining stuff to people. Now, maybe you are just in a rut and probably what you could try doing is just pack everything up, pack up all your paint, your pencils, whatever it is that you do, if you're a musician or whatever, just, just pack it all away out of sight and go and do something else. Uh, if, if you're a full-time painter or something like that. Go, come and work in a coffee bar or something. Go and uh, get some money coming in. <laughs> go, go and make coffee. Work really hard and really, you know, sort of put your heart and soul into it. Go and clean offices. Go and do something mundane. Just blur your mind. And, but, but do it with, with, with good heart and good faith. And after a few weeks, you'll think, I'm not missing it. Uh, I'm not missing my paints or pencils or keyboards or whatever, guitar. Um, or 
you might go, I just desperate to pick up a pencil, pick up a guitar, whatever it is you're doing that's your art, whatever your thing is. Um, in which case, then you, you, you've got to do it. <laughs> so you just pick it up and do it. But don't expect everything just to come. It doesn't. It takes possibly years. It might take your whole lifetime to actually find that thing that is essentially you, that really says what it is you want to say. And it might take that long to find out what it is you want to say in the first place. You know, voices are a really strange thing. I, I write children's books. I illustrated a lot of other authors as well when I started out. So I learned an awful lot from illustrating other authors, picking their texts apart and knowing where to put the illustrations. And then I would write my stories and it would get published. I would go to a school and I'd go, here's my great new story. And I would read it. And as I was reading it out aloud, I could hear other people's voices coming out through my mouth. I could hear the voices of the authors that I illustrated because I'd learned from them. And, and it was only one time, I had a fantastic new editor and I turned in uh, a new series of stories and she kind of went, hmm, I know you can do better. She said, go away, write, rewrite all your description and turn it into dialogue. What? And I kind of went, went home and sort of really thought about that and, and turned everything around and it really worked for me. And because I was putting it into dialogue, I was using my voice and, and immediately people said, this is different. Uh, this, you, know, you have a, got yourself a unique individual kind of voice here in your writing. And, and I think my illustration alongside has sort of become kind of individual as well. So it's little things like that. People help you, um, but but it, it doesn't come from nowhere. You can't just sit at your desk and expect it to happen. You've got to feed this artistic thing. It's a very hungry thing, this artistic mm. inside. And you've got to feed it with books. You've got to feed it with information, sight, music, everything. You've just got to keep pouring ideas and things, read philosophy, the whole lot. It's all got to go in there and you've got to filter it out. You've got to work at it and work at it. Think, yes, that's good. No, that's bad. And you just got to keep working until in the end you say, this is what I believe. This is what I mean. This is me. And now I want to tell the world about it in my voice. And that's kind of how you get there. It's a long process, but don't let that worry you. Don't think about the end. Just think about day by day doing what you need to do. If you think about, oh, I I've got to be an amazing artist now, you're not going to be. It's something that just happens. Enjoy the day to day. Enjoy the tiny, tiny, tiny little things that you learn, the tiny little achievements every day and at the end of each day go through what you've done and pat yourself on the back and go, yes that was good and yes I did that well and yes I did that well and just keep building and building and building. Don't think about the big picture and one day you'll find it's there and you've done it. Thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Render Drawing channel on YouTube and in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.